here and we will get rolling. Just need to start my recording, stream to all the our friends on social media as well. All right, cool. We should be all set there. Well, okay. Uh, good morning, Grant Streamers, or good afternoon, good evening, where you are in the world. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day uh, and joining us today in this webinar. My name is Brian Van Meter. I'm our marketing manager here at Grant Stream Networks. Really appreciate everyone uh, joining in. Today we are going to be talking about vertical industry deployments basically how you can deploy our various solution depending on the industry that you're going into building that solution for. So businesses, offices, logistics, hospitality, et cetera. Uh, a few things before we get started here, everyone. Um, if you are joining us via IP video talk, we do have that chat feature. Go ahead and use it to talk to each other, sling around ideas. But if you have any questions to ask, please, please, please go ahead and use that Q&A feature that's available at the bottom of your screen there. It's a little chat bubble, a little bubble that has a Q in it. Uh, if you're experiencing any technical difficulties or anything like that, let us know via the chat. We, I have Phil joining us today, and uh, he'll be able to help you out a little bit there as well. If you're joining us via Facebook, for any questions that you have, please feel free to go ahead and post it on the comments section, and I'll get back to you there. The, uh, for everyone who's joining us, the recording and the uh, presentation slides will be available to you as well. So with that, uh, let's just go ahead and start moving and just get into it. So basically I have a short, well, I got a pretty long presentation for you guys today. Then we'll go ahead and go into a Q&A section where I'll answer any questions you may have about our solutions, how to deploy them into different industries, any experiences you may have. And then we'll just go ahead and call it a day there. So with that, let me just go ahead and get my screen up and start sharing my presentation. All right. <clears throat> okay, so everyone should be able to see my presentation now. Um, so, for those who do not know about GrandStream, uh, we were founded in 2002. We have over 600 employees uh, with a full product portfolio uh, containing over 40 products, everything from our business conferencing solutions to our award-winning IP BBXs. And we primarily serve the small to medium-sized businesses and consumer markets. Uh, we are a global company, so we have offices located all over the world from the U.S. to Malaysia. We have that award-winning history, which is always something we like to kind of brag a little bit about. Everything from our TMC awards, our Frost and Sullivan awards, and our ITSPA awards. So today, guys, we're talking a little bit about the total grant stream solution here, just really being a one-stop shop for all of your communication needs. And we're going to be going into various different industry vertical deployments and sort of explaining how our um, various devices fit within each of those deployments and each of those solutions. But we have everything to offer from IP telephony, our conferencing equipment, networking products, to our security systems as well. All right. <clears throat> But today we're talking about vertical industry solutions. The main ones, the main verticals that we're going to be focusing on here today are offices and enterprises, the commercial sector, hospitality, education, and logistics. We're going to go through each one and just kind of paint both the communication needs of each of those verticals and also how GrantStream can meet and exceed those needs as well. So the first one we're going to jump into and the one that I'm sure all of you have the most experience with is office deployments, your typical office deployment. What does it look like? Mainly when it comes to GrandStream, our UCM series of IPPXs really drives the back end. So this device acts as the anchor for the communications. It really sort of maps out the com entire communication network and it's what you use to essentially completely create 
your full collaboration solution from scratch. Uh, desktop communications are highly customized depending on the office needs. No two offices are usually the same. Businesses and their needs vary greatly. So we have a full portfolio to help make a customized solution. Uh, mobility supported through Wi-Fi access points and our Wi-Fi and new generation of decked handsets is definitely a big advantage, especially in today's modern office where mobility is becoming more and more important. Meeting spaces are easily turned into virtual collaboration spaces with our conferencing solutions so anyone can join and begin working together and collaborating from anywhere. And of course, our security solutions integrate intelligently with the GDS series to keep that office completely safe and secure, making sure the people who are in there are supposed to be in there. So let's go through a little bit one-on-one, -on -one, starting with the in-house unified communications, our UCM series here. So the UCM series, like I said, it's what acts as the engine of the office deployment. It is the heart and soul of the communications network. Uh, as you all know, I'm sure you have a fair amount of experience with it. But it's a robust in-house solution. It really bridges together everything that that office needs to operate, from the voice, video, data, and mobility options that are going on within this communications network. It, of course, supports advanced telephony features. The call queue is a big thing, especially for more sales-orientated offices and enterprises. And it's the biggest names. It supports the biggest names in CRM software as well. And then depending on which series you go with, this device can support up to 2,000 seats and 200 concurrent calls. <clears throat> Always a good thing to point out here as well when it comes to an office solution is there is zero licensing fees with this device. It is really a deploy and forget uh, in-house solution, which the only times it really needs to be a little bit more hands-on is when you need to scale up the solution um, in case the office grows. So moving on a little bit to our wide range of endpoints, this is a little bit more of the bread and butter of a typical office deployment. We really offer the perfect desktop device for any device. Uh, excuse me, for any price point. So from the GXP 1600 series to the 2100 series, you really can find the perfect price point to feature your device that your client and customer is looking for to deploy within that business. Of course, all of our devices focus on advanced tele telephony support and features. So the 1600 series is really for that cost-conscious customer who's looking for a reliable solution that can still really push the bounds of productivity from the desktop. The 1700 series is our mid-range model. It brings efficiency and productivity to the desktop with a focus, uh, excuse me, without breaking the bank. And last but not least, of course, we have our 2100 series, our high-end devices. This is really the peak of advanced features and call volume support for those extreme volume users. <clears throat> Mobile IP handsets really help support the on-the-go user. This is definitely very important, too, as we're finding more and more offices switching to more of this quote-unquote hybrid layout. We have our DEC series for an affordable solution with less handsets. You may have seen we've released our newest generation of DEC solutions, really supporting a large range of handsets. We also have our Wi-Fi WP series for high-end roaming support. So for those larger offices where in enterprise buildings, where individuals may be having to roam around in order to collaborate with different departments, different groups of people going floor to floor, they can efficiently move around while still having that collaboration right on their hip. All right. <clears throat> Of course, we have our multimedia desktop endpoints. It supports that video collaboration, that one-to-one -one experience that we typically see most managers and executives really thriving and needing. And it completely, with an Android operating system, drives productivity for those individuals as well. It really is an extension of the computer brought to the desktop, um, more of a multimedia experience. All right, I'm just going to take a quick sip of coffee here. All right. 
So like I was saying, uh, focusing a little bit more on that mobility throughout the office, this is definitely something that you can deploy with GrandStream as well. We're seeing the modern office is adopting more of a hybrid layout. The individual productivity is, of course, a huge, huge importance. So we're sort of bringing that ability to have that individual productivity areas and then couple the collaboration with open spaces. The WP and our GWN series help support this new office layout. Uh, so basically what this means is the communications in workstations need to be able to move with the user. We're seeing more and more laptops, more and more personal devices becoming the norm within the workspace. Because of that, the traditional desktop phone now is turning more into an enterprise-leading Wi-Fi phone, such as our WPA20. We also, of course, offer our GWN access points that help create that immersive Wi-Fi experience for employees, uh, supporting hundreds of, excuse me, hundreds of devices, and of course, lightning fast speeds to make sure everyone in that office can work as quickly and efficiently as possible. So just point out two more of them. Like I said, the WPA20 wireless handset is a huge solution here. It really brings that advanced communications with the individual. For smaller offices, the deck option is much is more affordable and is better for a low handset count solution. All right, so now that we're talking, let's talk a little bit more about these quote unquote virtual collaboration spaces. So this really helps taking these sort of meeting spaces that you find throughout any office deployment and turning it more into a space that anyone can join from the internet at any time, just like you guys are doing right now. So the GVC series is what we're talking about here, uh, our video conferencing solutions. This is perfect for any huddle rooms, meeting rooms, conferencing spaces, and of course boardrooms as well. IP Video Talk really enables anyone to join and collaborate from anywhere, especially just in the way that we're doing it right now, how I'm presenting this via webinar using IP Video Talk. Individuals can then also join through social media channels, which is an ideal tactic for marketing teams for your clients. This is something that really helps drive internal and external collaboration. Company friction is always a big thing. We're trying to reduce friction as much as possible, the amount of time that it takes from you to sort of collaborate with other people within a project. Being able to bring everyone together into one virtual collaboration space really helps eliminate that friction because everyone can work together no matter their location. <clears throat> And of course, the last bit when it comes to offices that you can deploy is that smart security for staff all through our GDS series here. As you can see from the illustration on the left, it really does offer a complete facility access solution here. Individuals, excuse me, employees can come in through the office based on a code, RFID card, or a key fob. You can also set up time-based authorization as well to make sure employees are not coming in uh, sort of off hours, keep the area secured once the office is closed. And then visitors can also easily ring to reception and security staff and then can be cleared to gain access to a facility. It also integrates with our desktop and mobile endpoints. As you can see on the left there, any calls can go to any GrandStream endpoint, which then can open the, the door after the individual has been screened. It's good to know, uh, mention as well our GX, uh, excuse me, our the GDS 3710 video feeds integrates with our GXP 2100 series, GXV multimedia phones, and then our WP820 Wi-Fi handset. The video feed from this device can actually be seen from any of those devices. All right, so the next vertical deployment that we kind of want to look at here is our typical commercial deployment, whether it be individual smaller shops to our larger commercial structures such as malls or retail centers. So of course the UCM series here is what offers an affordable and just that robust solution. It's all about the customer and this experience and this solution here, uh, and it really helps drive positive customer experience. Mobile handsets here as well help both the retail and security staff in both their own unique needs. Access points help create the perfect public Wi-Fi network that really helps keep customers happy. 
And of course, our advanced access security solutions really help the, the theft and loss prevention control. So just to go through that a little bit, streamline communications. The UCM series is not only just a great solution for the office, but also really any industry. When we're talking about the commercial industry here, it really helps focus on what the customers need. So customers accept to have Excuse me. Um, customers expect to have their questions answered very quickly. I'm sure all of us here at some point have called into a different store, a restaurant, or other type of commercial building in order to ask questions, make a reservation. If those calls are not picked up, early, picked up quickly, it makes it less and less likely that we are willing to essentially give them our money. So transfer capabilities, hold, custom music, custom IVR, call queue, these are all things that can be highly customized within the UCM series, really making the perfect customer experience for any commercial deployment. <clears throat> and the UCM 6202 is really an ideal platform to accomplish this, where calls may not come in in massive droves, but definitely you still need to have those advanced solutions supported for those customers. All right, mobility is a huge thing here when it comes to commercial deployments. Of course, we have our Wi-Fi and DECT mobile handsets here to assist with this. So it helps empower retail, excuse me, retail employers to be more productive. So they can essentially work the floor while is assisting calling customers. That means commercial owners as well have to employ, can employ less people because the individual uh, employees are more productive. And you can easily communicate from department to department this way, helping any, any customers who are currently on premise. <clears throat> of course, this also allows security staff to be more responsive for those sort of malls or bigger commercial structures. It really gives them the ability to roam throughout the commercial structures with Wi-Fi capabilities while still being able to easily communicate with each other and with different stores that may need them. It also has push to talk and panic button features just for in the case of any emergencies that need fast communication between security staff that can easily be achieved. All right, public Wi-Fi networks when it comes to commercial buildings, I'm sure you guys are noticing this is becoming more and more of a norm. In fact, if you go to any, any coffee house, at least in my opinion, it's kind of strange if you do not get free Wi-Fi there. Uh, this is mainly because a public Wi-Fi network is now more of an expectation for customers. So the GWN helps create the perfect network for your customers. How can this be done? Uh, multiple SSIDs basically enable your clients to have two different, three different, four different networks, one for customers, one for the actual employees working within the structure. Uh, captive portals are a huge thing here. Uh, customers can essentially, when connecting to the Wi-Fi, be directed to a web browser, in which case they'll have to enter in a password or maybe even enter in their information. Bandwidth limits really helps throttle how fast you want the public Wi-Fi networks to go. So that way you can sort of throttle that while still keeping your employees network fast and responsive. Of course, we also have market-leading security when it comes to our GWN series, making sure that any public Wi-Fi network will not get compromised in the event of any type of virtual assault. <clears throat> Last but not least, security and theft prevention. Uh, this can be both deployed for those larger commercial structures or even smaller mom-and-pop type shops. Uh, basically, it helps control access to larger facilities. So the security staff can essentially allow and prevent access no matter lo their location because of the integration with our Wi-Fi devices, and they can essentially see that video feed. So if any type of individual is trying to come through a back entrance, so let's say retail staff, delivery, they can efficiently and easily be screened without having to take the security staff off the floor. Time-based access is also a huge thing here for retail staff. There, especially in commercial structures, is a lot of expensive goods there that we obviously do not want to lose or get stolen. Uh, so essentially you can adjust and create time-based access for those buildings. Customized alerts and notifications as well. Make sure in the event of any type of breach, those who need to be, excuse me, those who need to get alerted can be. All right, 
The next vertical solution that we want to take a little dive into here is our typical hospitality deployment, those large or small hotels or motel chains. <clears throat> of course, the UCM series can really easily handle the complex communication networks that sort of come with these type of deployments. Vastly different communication requirements per staff member are no problem with our wide variety of communication endpoints. And then there's different Wi-Fi devices for rooms, event halls, outdoor areas. It's no problem, the GWN series is a perfect fit for these type of solutions as well. <clears throat> All right, so when it comes to mapping the perfect communications network for a hospitality deployment, uh, the UCM series is what, is what really lays a powerful foundation here. There are many deployments that need intuitive, excuse me, departments that need intuitive communication throughout this type of deployment. So we're looking at front house, back of house, any type of retail chains that are within the hospitality building. Of course, we have our guests as well, maintenance and housekeeping. All of these need to have different communication structures, different IVR structures. The UCM can handle this with ease. IVRs and call, and call route mount, uh, excuse me, call route map. Uh, it really helps and needs to be intuitive, especially to drive that positive guest experience. And of course, we have many PMS integration so, uh, PMS softwares to integrate with that really helps maximize both the staff to guest experience. <clears throat> All right, so definitely within a hotel, this is something where we find widely different communication needs here. So reservations, for example, the desk is the biggest driver in revenue for and call volume. So the hotel needs to be able to have a device that can handle huge amounts of calls and efficiently still work on a computer or within a PMS system while fielding those calls that can easily be done with the 2100 series. Uh, we see our front desk that sort of controls the uh, guest experience completely. Uh, they really require rapid response, whether it's sort of mapping the, the individual to take them to any type of restaurant, to maybe scheduling a wake-up call, whatever you need to do. You can find the proper phone for that to handle those calls. And of course, housekeeping and maintenance, they both require mobility within the organization. And hotel guests require room-based communications. Typically, these are much more low-volume phones. So the 1600 series is an ideal choice for this as well. Helps keep these solutions affordable. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so when it comes to Wi-Fi networks as well, um, Grand Stream can completely be deployed into any type of hospitality situation. So like I was saying a little bit earlier, public Wi-Fi networks, those are expected, especially in hotels nowadays. nowadays. Uh, and with captive portals, passwords can be put behind these, including randomized passwords as well, based on the actual hotel room and based on the guest. So it really helps secure that connection. Separate Wi-Fi network is even more important in this type of situation, especially one for mobility with, with the staff. And then for any type of outdoor or event hall type Wi-Fi situations, the GWN 7600 LR is perfect for that. <clears throat> All right, so the next vertical to take a look at is education. So a typical education deployment, uh, we really looked at the UCM here, creating a scalable and redundant communications network, making sure that in the event of any type of situation, communication stays up. Uh, facility security is becoming a more and more important uh, facet of this type of solution, and the GDS series is perfect for this. High productivity classrooms and administrator phones are also a big deal here, especially as that one-to-one -one interaction between the teachers and the parents is becoming more and more pronounced. And of course, Wi-Fi networks that support hundreds of devices uh, for those lecture hall type of deployments and university deployments.
All right. Scalability and redundancy is a huge deal when it comes to universities and education sectors. Uh, the UCM series can easily scale and communicate any type of needs. Uh, for example, with GrantStream zero config capabilities, any phone can be deployed and automatically configured to the UCM without the need to go into the back end. This is a huge advantage when adding on any type of new department or new faculty or staff. And of course, no ongoing licensing fees to keep the solution affordable for more of those public education deployments where cost is always the number one concern. All right, security and facility access with the GW, GDS series is so easy to track, manage, and record any access to any door. That way you can make sure that people who are within this education, within the school, within the institution are supposed to be there. Paging, intercom, and alarm cap uh, capabilities really allow for that quick response. And then the ability to combine with any endpoint makes it so that any individual in the case of any type of breach, any classroom, any administration, any staff, any security member can be alerted of this type of breach. <clears throat> All right. So communication and productivity is a huge deal here when it comes to the endpoints. Uh, and easy staff communication with crystal clear HD audio can be achieved with any of our endpoints. Video phones as well for any type of office and teacher um, deployment is perfect for that sort of more one-on-one -on -one parent teacher meetings. And of course, the efficiency and quick response is a big deal, uh, especially in any education sector where teachers and staff just honestly, they have a lot going on so they need to be able to communicate efficiently. Paging, speed dial keys, larger phone books for admins and reception staff always helps as well. All right. <clears throat> Hundreds of devices can be supported with our GWN series and definitely keeping all of the, um, excuse me, all the data transfer efficient there. So our Wi-Fi access points really help support hundreds of devices within the sort of university, lecture hall, classroom situations. So lecture halls with condensed students is perfect to use the GW, GWN 76000. And then for long range Wi-Fi in between buildings, sporting arenas and areas, parks, et cetera, within university deployments. Individuals can still roam outside, both staff and faculty and students while still being connected. All right, everyone. Last but not least, a little bit more of a simple one, but let's take a look at to the logistics deployment that we see. Uh, two main things we want to point out here is the mobility focused business with light call volume. And of course, how the business is spread out regionally and it really needs to be interconnected. So mobility for the floor staff is important. Both our DEC and our Wi-Fi phones um, models, certain models support push to talk capabilities. And of course, for those larger sort of warehouse situations, cargo docks, you can have seamless Wi-Fi roaming with the GWN 76000 long range LR and a WPA20. An accelerometer within the WPA20 Wi-Fi phone can actually send alerts based on sudden movements. So in order to keep sort of employee safety, if any individuals are knocked over, fall to the ground, a WPA20 can actually send an alarm and an alert to a pre-designated area based on that movement. And we have streamlined UI and comfortable grip within our deck in Wi-Fi phones just to make sure that you can easily utilize it with one hand. All right, we see within this vertical as well, especially logistics, there are lots and lots of regionally separated uh, locations that need to be able to communicate quickly and efficiently and easily work together. This is a very time sensitive driving business. So logistics warehouses are typically spread across large distances and the GBC plus IP video talk can connect both the staff on the road and in office all in one, like I mentioned earlier, virtual collaboration space. And this is absolutely essential for time sensitive operations, especially when warehouses are constantly taking out products, bringing in new products, accepting new deliveries, pushing out deliveries is essential that any communications are streamlined and efficient in these type of solutions. 
All right. Okay, everyone. So that's good for the presentation section. I uh, hope you guys got a lot out of that. Um, let me just bring myself back in here. Did it work? All right, there I am. Okay, great. Uh, so, yeah, so now I'm just going to kind of go through the Q&A section here, everyone, and help answer any questions that you may have. Um, if you do have questions, like I said, please, please, please go ahead and use that Q&A feature. Um, I'll take a glance through the chat, but, you know, if you have any questions that you asked there and maybe filled in and already get back to you, please use that Q&A feature. All right, so Ash Theater asks, any plan for Skype for business endpoints? Uh, Phil actually already answered it, but I'll just say it out loud um, just for everyone to be aware of. Um, we're currently looking for opportunities within the Microsoft uh, ecosystem, but it's going to take some time. Um, it's definitely something that we're interested in. It's a uh, more of a long-term goal rather than a short-term goal. Um, so definitely as we see more development with it, we'll let everyone know. All right. Okay, I think I think that's pretty much all the questions actually. Um, so I do see a few questions just kind of asking for sort of one-off things that aren't really too related to this topic um, that we're talking about right now. I'll, I'll get back to everyone on that. Don't worry, I'll just get the chat and I'll just email you all individually. Uh, if you have any questions for me after this, please feel free to go ahead and let me know. I'm going to be sending out this presentation and the recording uh, today, so you can go ahead and email me back. But otherwise, appreciate it. Thank you all so much for joining, learning a little bit more about our vertical deployments. Uh, and have a good rest of your week. Thank you. Bye-bye.